Last night, uh, the quarterback market uh, took another uh, big one up off the top. <laughs> Take a look at this. Justin Herbert, five years, $62.5 million extension with the Chargers. Uh, Joe Burrow still coming. But here are the richest contracts in NFL history based on average annual value. This is per over the cap, the 33rd team. Um, that's NFL executives and scouts tweeting this out. Herbert, now the highest paid, $52.5 million. Lamar Jackson, 52. Jalen Hurts, 50. Aaron Rodgers, 50.27. Russell Wilson, 49. Kyler Murray, 46.1. Ahead of Deshaun Watson, who is now seventh at 46. Mahomes, you know, the best of them all, 45, because his was done the, the lace. Now, Average value um, in the NFL, how, you know, when you spread out the terms of the contract, that's how, how much per season. Uh, a lot of people, and, and I'm talking to the folks that email me, make a big deal about the guaranteed money. It only matters if there's a, a reason to cut a starting quarterback on a long-term deal. And I went back and, and finally, you know, I, I couldn't remember the last time a quarterback <laughs> who was getting paid a lot of money got cut. It was Peyton Manning with the Colts, and I think his guarantee was something like $24, 26000000 million, and that was mm -hmm. after he hadn't played for 19 months and had neck surgery. And then he ended up going and, and playing well with the Broncos. So the guaranteed was uh, it's a reason to get the guy to come to your franchise. At the end of the day, you're not moving away from a guy that you gave up three first-round picks and have been trying to find – since the franchise came back in 1999. You know what I've done, and like you, I've been doing some searching. I've been doing some soul searching, not really statistically wise, or looking at the financial documents to figure out what quarterback got a huge boatload of guaranteed money that you had to cut um, or you had to move on from. Um, so I'm glad you did that part. I've done the other part. What I've, what I've found out is, you know, I've done the code words. So there's code words. Uh, in, in the NFL and when you're talking about sports, there's lots of code words there. Um, and, and, and we'll throw it out there and say, if you're more quick than fast, that means you're not, <laughs> you're not a guy that, you know, you, you can shoot, move some people out of the way with some jukes, but you're not running away from anybody. Or, uh, you know, he's a guy that's not going to hurt you. We're going to ask him to uh, minimize the turnovers and manage the game. That means you just can't throw the ball that well. Uh, and the more you throw it, you throw interceptions. So the code word now for 238 or how many other million dollars that uh, Deshaun Watson has as a guarantee, that code is for I'm not sold on Deshaun Watson, A. B, I might be slightly still upset that I felt like the quarterback here was the quarterback for us and he's no longer here. Or C, or a little bit of combination of both, you may not like the allegations that came with him. You don't definitely like the fact that, you know, maybe your favorite player, number six, is gone. Uh, and then on top of that, maybe you just don't like, you know, you think that he's worth all of that money. So what it comes out to be is you can't say uh, he's, uh, you know, you can't, you can't fault the organization for going to get a guy whose numbers look the way they look before uh, the last six games. So you can't say anything about it. You can't say he can't play football because you've seen him play and you know he's he has that talent level. So the only thing you can legitimately say to kind of throw something out there is, well, the guaranteed money, I just don't think anybody is worth that. But if you look at the, the climate, if you look at football, if you know football and you know what, what everything looks like, you know, every year there's a new quarterback. The money goes up every year just like the cap goes up pretty much every single year. So it, they're not paying you based on how good you are. They're paying you on on the quarterback market. And so that is what it is. And, and when Joe Burrow gets his deal, um, you know, it, what's the name's deal? Deshaun Watson deal starts to look a lot better again. So now you look at some of these names and you can argue, well, Kyler Murray, is he better than Deshaun Watson? <laughs> I mean, start looking around. Justin Herbert hasn't won a thing. Uh, you, hey, listen, I'm sure they will want to get out of uh, Russell Wilson's deal in Denver. So you start to see these these deals get done, and then you and then that Watson deal starts to be regular. Um, you know, at the end of his contract, it'll almost look like a bargain, given given the fact that just uh, 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 Lawrence has to get a uh, Trevor Lawrence has to get another deal. Joe Burrow's on his way up to get a, a whole another deal. There'll be a lot of guys that are up again for their deals 
Uh, and they'll make it make that money that he got looks like a dwarf money. So I, I think it dwarfs the, the, the value of what, what's out there. At the end of the day, I think people just are, are not sold on Deshaun Watson when they say that. And if he comes out and plays well in the first three games, uh, that contractor will continue to look better.